good feeling about this. Hello, my name is a Fu Manchu, and well, it's happened. Yep, I've passed the point of no return. I'm actually excited to want to see the new Han Solo movie. Yeah, I know, I know, I should turn in my Star Wars fan club card, but you know what, seriously, I really am getting excited to want to see it, because every time I see a new trailer or a new clip from it, I'm like, hey, that looks really good. Now, the problem is, the last Jedi trailer, the very last one that came out, looked really good too. So, I don't know, man, that last Jedi movie, it wasn't very good. And if you saw my commentary for it, you know... There was a lot of problems that I had with it. Now, that doesn't mean I didn't like things about it. So, maybe the Han Solo movie will at least have that. Some stuff I like about it. But I'm really hoping that it's really, really good. Because we're due for a good Star Wars movie. And I really got all these Han Solo movie figures kind of backing up and stuff. I mean, I got too many of them. I mean, seriously, look at all this stuff. I hope that this movie is good because I keep buying the toys, man. But like I always say, I love the toys, so I guess the movie doesn't have to be good. Now, I recently reviewed this, Han Solo and his stolen blue lens speeder, and I really liked it a lot. So I'm hoping that all this other stuff is really cool, too. Now, I don't know what to review, so I'm just going to grab one of these things at random, so I say we open at least one of them, what do you say? Today's review will be on the Hasbro, Star Wars, the Black Series... Range Trooper! And with all that fur around his collar, it's a good thing his name isn't Mange Trooper, and he looks awesome! Check that out! He's got that Rogue one s style helmet, he's got that Snow Trooper kind of armor, and yeah, he's even got some really awesome lower legs, but we'll get into that in a minute. He's got a blaster off to the side, and he looks awesome. I can really see a lot of people buying a bunch of these, you know, to troop build, especially since in the trailer, on top of the train scene, we see about, what, five or six of these guys, and that is very cool indeed. But since I only have one, I'm going to name mine Steve. Because I name all my troopers Steve, huh? It makes them really easy to remember their names, that's for sure. So this is Steve, the range trooper. So let's check out the back of the package, shall we? So, here's the back of the package with the Star Wars The Black Series logo, number 64, which is his number. And then down here, Range Trooper, a little bio that says, The Imperial expansion requires the settlement of vital operations on remote outpost worlds. These frontier stormtroopers form a backbone of stubborn defense against would-be thieves and pirates. And even French pirates and Spanish pirates. And that is cool. And I love that drawing there of him. He just looks like a trooper you don't want to mess with. Down here you've got a bunch of gobbledygook and not a whole lot else. So let's look back at the front of the package. So, here's the front of the package for the very last time. Now, although I have three other figures from this uh, Black Series solo movie wave, this will be the very first one that I've actually opened, and I can't wait to see it out of the package. So, I say we open it! So, here's Steve the Range Trooper fresh out of the package. Now, first impressions. One, that fur around his neck is super, super soft. I mean, super soft, man. That is awesome. Now, another thing is, he's very stumpy. Look at those little stumpy legs, man. Now, he's got some big old boots on, but, I don't know, I expected him to be a little taller or something. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? But you know what? Seriously, yeah, his, his little legs are stumpy, man. But as you can see, he's got some stomping Stumpington boots there that he wears and runs around. Now, those are magnetic shoes, as you've seen in the trailer, where he can stick to the side of the train, and that is cool. Now, this fur around his uh, waist here, now, this isn't real. It's like sculpted uh, fake fur, I guess you could say, plastic, and that's pretty cool. And he's got some straps there. He's got a lot of articulation. I mean, a lot. He's very, very articulate. And then up here he looks like almost like a snow trooper if you just look at him like that. And then up here he has that weird little Rogue One kind of style helmet. And that is cool indeed. So let's look at him from behind, shall we? So here he is from behind. And yeah, I cannot get over how soft that fur is. That is very cool indeed. He almost looks like a Squall Leonhardt kind of stormtrooper. Now as you can see there, he's got two little eyes on the back of his helmet. No wait, I'm sorry. Those aren't eyes. Those are just designs. But it kind of looks like eyes. It kind of looks like a duck monster or something staring at you. And he's got a furry collar, like I said. He's got all this little padding and stuff, which looks very cool indeed. And look at those little hydraulics and little things on his feet. That is very cool indeed. Yeah, aside from him being short, this figure is awesome. So let's flip him back around. Now, because I haven't seen him standing up next to another figure from this wave, I don't know if this is a tall figure or not, but like I said, he looks a little stumpy, but that's okay. Now, you're probably saying, hey, 
What did he come with? Well, he came with this Stormtrooper blaster rifle. And you can put it in his hand, just like this. And he's ready to stick to trains and shoot at Han Solo and Chewbacca. And that is cool. So I say we waste no more time and look at this guy up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper stormtrooper close up look and check out all that battle damage there on his chest plate. That's pretty cool indeed. He's got little red buttons there. Looks like he could punch a, a number like to an elevator or something on his chest. He's got some little designs there. Those are very cool indeed. And yeah, look at all this like weathering and stuff on there. He's not just solid white, so that is very cool. His cod piece is in better days. All that crap. And then he's got some little pouches there on his belt. Working our way up to his uh, chest here, you can see he's got that fur. And like I said, that fur is super soft. A lot softer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like a uh, more matted feeling. Up here at the helmet, you've got some more design work there. And even his helmet has some battle damage. He has that gold visor, which is very cool indeed. You can almost see the dirtiness is digitized or whatever, how it's printed on there. And that is very cool as well. Now, turning the figure to the side, you can see his little helmet design right there. It almost looks like he's got like a Snoopy head design or something. I don't know. And then down here, he's got the furry collar again. And then down here at his shoulder, you can see he's got something in his little pouch there. And working our way down to his articulation, you can see he's got some armor there on the back of his arm. He's got some fur, it looks like, coming out of his uh, sleeve there. And then his fist. Which, as you can see, is a big cold weather, you know, glove or whatever. And that's cool. Working our way down the right side, you can see the fur yet again. Very cool indeed. I love how they did that. Not that it was just sculpted on there. I think that adds a lot of detail and stuff. Got this little uh, communicator thing, I'm assuming, on his wrist. More fur coming out of his sleeve. There's his blaster there, looking very cool. Now, the blaster has no paint on it, but honestly, do you really need any? I don't think so. That looks good enough to me. Now, working our way down to his belt again, you can see he's got like a little design on his belt buckle there. Working our way down his leg, you can see all the like faux fur of the uh, thing hanging down at his waist. And then you can see the straps there. They even have design work on them. Now, these legs, like I said, all, the whole figure is all really articulated, but these legs especially because they've got all this other... I don't know, this uh, big old boot design. And he's got some really nice ankle articulation and stuff. That is awesome indeed. But yeah, look, it looks like he's got like gas cans or something strapped to his feet, which wouldn't re really be very good. You can see the little magnetized bottoms right there, and that is cool. And turning the figure to the side, you can see they even painted in these two little, like, uh, I don't know, uh, pill-sized thing or whatever, a blue one and a red one, and that is cool. So which one will you take, Neo? Pick, pick wisely. But down here, you've got all the little uh, gears and stuff. Very cool indeed. And these big old boots. And that is awesome. Now, turning the figure to look at him from behind, you got these little vents on the back of his head. you got that little Darth Vader flare to his helmet. And then right here, you've got that fur yet again. Now, the fur co covers up his little uh, oil thing right here. Which you can see has a totally different design and doesn't say oil at all. That is pretty cool indeed. And look, he's got a little like uh, a port where you can plug in your USBs and that's pretty cool. But when you drop the fur back down, it just covers that right up. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a detail you very rarely even see unless you remove the fur. You got the padding of his uh, coat and everything right there looking very cool. And working our way down the back of his legs. And check it out. He's got little, like, compressor tanks or whatever they're called. Little air tanks. Whatever that is. He's got some red there. I love how there's color on this figure, but it's used very sparingly. And it looks like it's fully painted. But honestly, that little red and the black and stuff like that. I mean, if you look, it's just sculpted in this one color. But they add the very minuscule paint. And it just looks so good, man. That is awesome. Now, laying the figure down and checking out his articulation on his ankles. Check this out. I mean, geez, look at that. It opens up really far. So don't expect these boots to really hinder the ankle articulation, that's for sure. Unless, of course, you really want them to move side to side, like at real extreme angles, because they don't really do that, but they do move a little bit. They do pivot a little bit. But yeah, this figure looks awesome, and I absolutely love it. So, there's my very quick review of the Black Series Star Wars Solo Movie Range Troop. Jeez, where is he? There he is. You are stubby, man. You're very little. But you know what? This figure looks awesome, and I highly recommend it. I especially recommend it since a lot of people are probably going to be buying multiple ones of these. So, if you see one, you might want to get it when you see it. But, you know, I haven't seen very many on the pegs, but I have seen enough of them, so they shouldn't be that very hard to find. So, until next time, and if you want to see more Solo figures, let me know. Tune in for more Full Reviews <laughs> You think everything sounds like a bad idea Oh, and one more thing
These little designs right there on his knees, you know, inside that bracket? Hmm, where have I seen that before? I mean, it looks like something. I just can't place it. Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Fool Reviews.